Lately, I have been feeling so out of my routine and I've been lacking self-discipline. So in this video, I challenged myself to wake up at 5 a.m. every day for a week. I know back to school is coming up soon and we've probably all fallen off our routines this summer. So I hope this motivates you for whatever you have to wake up early for. Changing my alarm to, oh God, oh God. 5 a.m. and it is 10 56. I'm getting to bed pretty late. I'm hoping tomorrow I can get to bed a bit earlier, so not horrible, but not ideal either. <laughs> okay, good night. Monday. I'm honestly not as tired as I thought that I was gonna be today. So we're starting the week off strong But I'm just trying to like really wake myself up here because I really don't want to have to nap this week Like if I can not nap that would be like best case scenario Just because I can make the most out of the day that way if I have to take like a quick 20 minute or it's not that big of a deal But I really don't want to so that I can get the full 5 a.m. Experience I went to bed at about 10 o'clock last night, but then I couldn't really fall asleep because my body's not adjusted so i think i'm just running off pure adrenaline right now this ice rolling feels so good like this is a must if you're gonna wake up early <laughs> okay let's get ready for the day I just do like a music video. I just did a 10 minute video that I'll link down below. Now I'm gonna go on a walk. I thought that I had a workout class booked this morning, but it's actually for tomorrow. So I'm just gonna go on a walk and get some exercise in. It's a beautiful summer day and it's actually already kind of light outside, so it's perfect. But yeah, I do actually really like walking in the morning because what I do is I put headphones on and then I listen to affirmation. Um, that's something I've been doing recently and I feel really, really good and like on top of the world after doing that. So would recommend for sure. But yeah, let's go on our little morning walk. You guys, I'm actually so shocked because it is like just past 9.30 right now and I'm at the grocery store. I already showered, I already did an hour walk. I did yoga, I did my journaling, I did everything. Like I didn't like do my makeup yet. I don't even know if I'm gonna do makeup today, but I got myself all ready for the day basically. And it's not even 10 o'clock yet. And I'm at the grocery store already. I forgot how good waking up at five feels in terms of like productivity. And I'm not saying you need to wake up at five to be productive, but usually I'm like at the grocery store by like midday because my morning routine usually takes so long. But the fact that not even 10 o'clock yet and I already did all of that makes me feel so accomplished. It makes me feel so happy. Um, but yeah, I honestly might nap today though because I am feeling a bit tired, but I'm gonna go home and make a matcha. So hopefully that'll give me a little bit of energy to sustain the day. But overall, I'm feeling a lot better than I thought that I would, especially off of only six hours of sleep. Tonight, I'm gonna try to get to bed a lot earlier though so I can have a better sleep, like an eight hour sleep. But it's the first day anyway, so I need to get adjusted. The most ideal situation would be not to nap. 
but we'll see. face this morning that is so cold but it feels so good it's happy tuesday honestly the weirdest thing happened and i woke up three minutes before my alarm when i woke up i thought that i was gonna have like hours to sleep but i was shocked at the time because i went to bed at like 9 30 10 last night like almost 10 and i fell asleep i would say within like half an hour just because like i'm still adjusting to going to bed so early but apparently i knocked out all the way until five which is really good and i just woke up naturally which is insane like how does that even happen i mean i guess that's a good thing though that means that my body got enough sleep if i naturally woke up and i wasn't really tired when i woke up um, so i have a workout class at seven i gotta leave the house at about 6 40 i would say probably or 6 35 but i'm really excited that i have a workout class today because i haven't worked out in a while just because last week i had my period and so i only did one class last week because like i was kind of dying and I didn't want to push my body like that because I think that's just so unhealthy and there's like moments of your period and moments of the month where you just shouldn't be working out if you have like heavy cramps but yeah I'm just happy that I can go back to at the gym this week and I realized that yesterday the reason why there wasn't any classes was because it was BC day so I didn't even know that it was a holiday I was so confused because I thought that I'd booked it for Monday but Anyways, I have one book for tomorrow and we'll see about Thursday and Friday, but this is like the earliest workout class that I have ever done. And it's exciting because it's like you have to get out of bed. Like if you guys want to wake up early, book yourself a workout class because that will actually motivate you to wake up because whenever I tell myself that I'm going to wake up early, if I'm not filming a video, if I don't have anything to hold me accountable, I am sleeping in. If I don't actually put my mind to something and I don't like hold myself accountable, I will sleep in so it's nice having something where like you paid for and it's like okay i can't cancel this you know because you don't want to waste your money so it's more motivating i did my hair last night in like two little buns and it turned out like it was already curled but it turned out like extra curly this morning and i really like how it turned out but i know my hair is gonna get destroyed because i'm doing an infrared class so it's gonna be super hot and it's definitely gonna just destroy my hair but it's okay I don't think I'm gonna have time to do yoga this morning because it's already 6 15 I don't know how the time goes by so fast Like I think I need to be more stern on myself in the morning because I'm literally just so laxy daisy and I just take time to do everything But now it's literally almost time to go I don't have time to do yoga, which is okay because we're gonna go to a workout class and probably stretch there anyways But let's quickly fill this out so that I'm not rushing out the door <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I am honestly having the hardest time today with being awake. The last two days when my alarm rang, I was pretty like not tired. Like I was honestly fine. And this morning, I think the sleep deprivation is actually catching up to me because I could have slept for like 10 more hours. I had to really force myself. Like today was the day, the first day that I really had to like force myself to get out of bed versus like yesterday and the other day i was just like you know what i can wake up right now you know but i have a workout class this morning at seven again and it's called something to do with like core at oxygen yoga and fitness not gonna lie i'm dreading it a little bit because i'm so sore from yesterday's workout because it was so good but i feel like once you get into a workout you like get unsore so it should be fine but i definitely like if i wasn't filming this video i could have easily just slept in because of how tired i'm feeling it's also because like my body can't naturally go to bed at nine i just am not used to that so i have a hard time like falling asleep right away it takes me like half an hour and then throughout the night for some reason last night i was like waking up a bunch i just don't feel like i had the best sleep at all so i think today might call for a nap like i'm already guessing that because yesterday i did not have a nap like i was gonna really fine yesterday by the end of the day yes i was tired but i felt really good yesterday so i'm guessing it's just catching up to me a little bit today what i'm gonna try to do is like go to bed at like 8 30 and then just kind of maybe read or something to help me fall asleep Hopefully that i'll do something so i can get to better sleep tomorrow night i mean tonight i am very very tired and i know that this workout class is going to be good though but these are the days where you have to have determination motivation is not always going to be there motivation comes and goes as we all know today the motivation isn't there so my backup determination she's pulling through today <sighs> sit down now and do my gratitude five minute journal and drink my bone broth as usual it's really nice just drinking the bone broth in the morning because i don't need to eat anything if i drink it because if i don't have anything to eat before my workouts i usually feel really nauseous but the bone broth is like the perfect thing to drink before because it like fills me up a little bit where i don't get nauseous during my workouts and i feel really great but i don't actually have to like physically eat anything so it's nice i can just have like the drink but yeah i'm so tired i just need to snap out of this and drink my bone broth and go to the class and then i'll be over it also doesn't really help that it's kind of like a gloomy day today like the sun is not coming out good night i mean see you later <laughs> up in a bun and now we're gonna head out the door it's currently about like 6 30 leaving a bit early because i do not want to be late okay let's go <laughs> Hey guys, so it is currently two o'clock. I was just doing some work for today. I already feel so productive. But anyways, if you guys noticed, every single morning I have been drinking bone broth. Dr. Kellyanne is actually sponsoring this video. But let me tell you, I have been drinking these for six or more months now and they are so amazing. If you guys don't already know, bone broth is literally like liquid gold. If you go to search it up on the internet and just put like benefits, probably a million will come up because it's so good for you. Before drinking bone broth, I used to have 
have like really low energy in the morning i also used to have major gut issues but after incorporating this bone broth into my life and having one every single day i have noticed such an increase in energy in the morning like after i drink it and also symptoms for my gut has been so much better and my body just feels overall more balanced per serving there's 16 grams of protein which is so much and there's only 70 calories and one gram of carbs there's no fat no sugar no cholesterol and it's also made with grass-fed bovine collagen these are all dairy-free gluten-free non-gmo paleo keto friendly all that good stuff they have so many flavors but in each box there are seven servings that's what you see me do every morning i just take out a packet and i just love putting it in hot water and drinking it like a tea you can also make like recipes with it though i'll make it into a soup but personally i just like having it every morning with hot water and that is it because <laughs> it's so good alone but yeah you guys know if you watch any of my previous videos that i'm a bone broth stan if you guys want to go shop you can go to drkillian.com it'll be linked down below i also have a coupon code for you guys which will be in the description box as well to save you guys some money best bone broth around so don't mind that but happy thursday i decided to sleep in today until 5 45 just because my body like needed the sleep i went to bed at 9 45 yesterday and i actually like fell asleep right away so i knew that i needed like a full eight hours of sleep for my body to actually function normally this week and also like i don't really want to do any harm to my body so just waking up at 5 45 i feel like make the biggest difference for me and technically it's still five so it's not cheating when i don't get enough sleep and i wake up i feel so nauseous if i have to get up super early to go to the airport or like whatever it is and i don't get enough sleep i wake up and i literally need to throw up when i used to work on set i sometimes would have to wake up at like 3 30 a.m like four to five days in a row and oh my gosh you guys while i was driving i had to debate pulling over because i was gonna puke like it's that bad this ice rolling feels so good today extra good it's crazy because we always tell ourselves like we can't do something i thought that i could never be the person to wake up at 5 a.m i was like doing it for a week there's no way but the thing is is you can do absolutely anything you set your mind to it's all about your mindset shift if you change that mindset to yes i can then so much changes and you actually can everything stems from your mindset you guys and with whatever it is in your life that you can apply that positive mindset too i just feel like so many times we like doubt ourselves we tell ourselves no whatever reasons and we think we can't do something but that is not true because look at me guys i'm waking up at 5 a.m and i thought that i could never do this <laughs> after doing this challenge the last time i actually stuck with it for like a couple months or a few months like i was waking up at 5 a.m and then i stopped i don't know why i stopped i forget why and then i became a 5 a.m person so something that i told myself that i could never do i switched my mindset about it and i did it so this goes to show that with anything in life just have a positive mindset about it and that'll change a lot so i don't have like a workout class book today but i booked a candlelight deep relaxation um stretch and yoga class for a little bit later today it's at i think 12 so i'll take you guys along to that but it's not just yet so i think i'm still gonna do like my walk in the morning and then we're gonna go to that class a bit later for lunch i just want to sit like this forever i feel so comfy and cozy in this long sleep right now i don't want to take it off this is really what i need to push myself i'm so cozy right now and i just want to go back to bed Ooh. oh okay
okay guys so i just did my journaling but i am officially ready to commence our walk it's kind of a gloomy day today like the sun isn't out yet and it's supposed to be cloudy all day and under 20 degrees but i'm all cozy in my little fleece and my leggings so i'm okay i'm excited to walk this morning and as always on my walk i'm gonna listen to the first 10 minutes of affirmations and then i'm just gonna listen to a podcast or something but it's essential for my morning walk and apparently it's good to listen to affirmations like first thing in the morning or right before you go to bed because apparently that's when your brain is the most absorbent to these types of things so i'm gonna listen to my affirmations first thing so let's go on our walk Hey guys, so it is a bit later. I was just editing all morning and it felt really good that I had so much time to get stuff done. But now I just got to Oxygen Yoga and Fitness and I'm gonna go in and do their candlelight deep stretch and relaxation class. I'm so excited because I'm on my period and I just feel like my body needs a good stretch, especially because I'm so sore from the workout classes this week. So I'm just so excited to be zen and have a good stretch and relaxation class. But yeah, I'm so excited. Let's go in. Okay guys, I just got out of the class. It is currently 1.30 and it was so good, honestly. It was like such a deep stretch and I, my body feels so good now. Like that's what exactly what I needed and we went into like a little Shavasana meditation at the end. And I'm also really hot because it was heated. So I'm gonna go shower. I already feel so accomplished. Like I edited so much already today. Did the stretch workout. Weird to do it middle of the day because usually I don't work out or do anything midday like this. Usually I do everything in the morning. But since it was just like stretching, it was super relaxing and I really liked it. Yeah. Good morning, you guys. Happy Friday. I'm just excited that tomorrow I get to catch up on my sleep. I'll give you guys like an overall analysis tonight of the week, but I'm not gonna lie, today was really, really hard for me to wake up. I think it's just because I've been getting basically under eight hours of sleep this whole week and my body like truly needs its sleep, like it functions off of sleep. But yeah, I am just happy that it's the weekend. I can take a chill, my body can just relax. I always take the weekends to do absolutely nothing. I never really make plans on the weekends unless like there's something going on. But I usually just keep the weekends completely open so I can just do whatever my body feels like doing and I make sure to give myself like some good rest. I'm probably not even gonna be able to stay awake to watch a movie tonight or something because usually me and Joel watch like a movie on Friday night because I'm gonna be so tired. So hopefully maybe I'll actually nap today. But it went from like the beginning of the week being pretty easy and then it just got like declined from there. But that's definitely just because I I was just lacking the sleep. quickly share this quote with you guys and the quote of the day is choosing to be positive and having a grateful attitude is going to determine how you're going to live your life and i think that is so powerful okay guys all ready to leave i'm just wearing this workout set from aritzia and then this little quarter zip i thrifted and i'm so cozy in the morning i like when i get to class i don't want to take off my sweater and i just feel so cozy so let's head out and get this workout done that ain't my girl, that's my nigga Catch me out on ocean drive with her Catch me in the whip, ride with her Sipping something, bumping, being hypnotized with her Pray you get that job in town 
I just got home. I am literally, I don't know if you can tell, but I am completely dripping with sweat. <laughs> that class was so good. And I'm just like really proud of myself for keeping this promise to myself and pushing myself this week. I got so emotional like at the end of the class because I'm like, holy shit. When you keep promises to yourself, it's so impactful and so powerful and it builds your self-confidence so much. And that's why keeping promises that you make to yourself is so important. Because how can you trust yourself if you never keep your promises but yeah i'm feeling on top of the moon i'm gonna go in make my smoothie shower and make coffee and breakfast <laughs> officially waking up at 5 a.m. for one week i'm honestly really proud of myself like i was explaining earlier it's just like promises that you keep to yourself are so sacred and i feel so accomplished before doing this video i was just like so out of my routine because i was moving i just got back from vacation and i was just so out of whack doing this honestly like this was one of the most productive weeks like within the past year that i've had and it made me so happy because after every day like i felt so accomplished i feel so accomplished right now that it's over like i can just relax on the weekend and it just feels that much better i did push myself this week and that's where i find happiness in life is having a balance between like pushing myself and also pampering myself at the same time it's when my mental health thrives when i'm working out when i'm on my routine but also having a balanced lifestyle and i just wasn't getting that other aspect before of where i was strict on myself i was sleeping in every day wasn't working out every day now that i did this for a week i am very inspired to keep going i don't know if it's going to be 5 a.m but now that i like really push myself this week i know that i could wake up earlier so maybe i'm gonna wake up at six maybe i'm gonna wake up at seven not sure what i'm gonna do yet but this has definitely like re-inspired me to get back on my routine and in like a good groove of things because i've just been out of it for so long and now i just feel so much better and i'm so much happier but yeah if you guys are starting school soon and have to wake up early or you wake up early for your job or if you want to wake up early just because i hope that this gave you guys some motivation and i would recommend trying it out for a week and really keep that promise to yourself book the workout class just like hold yourself accountable somehow and make sure that whenever you're creating a new habit you reward yourself because that's the science behind creating a new habit is you have to reward yourself and then your brain is going to actually like crave to do that like literally you're training yourself good dog with treats <laughs> i'm just like a routine girly and i thrive off of having a good routine but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video comment down below what time you wake up at and we can kind of compare things in the comments and let me know why you wake up at that time because it's interesting Interesting. Let's compare sleep schedules down below in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, all the social media platforms. I'm also on Pinterest. But yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't miss out on my videos. I post every Sunday.